Welcome to Daily Scripture and Meditation with Shirley Celis Jackson. We begin, as always, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Wednesday, the 22nd of March, 2023, of the fourth week in Lent. Put your whole trust in God and let Him be your fear and your love. He will answer for you and will graciously do for you as shall be best. Daily Prayer Lord Jesus, increase my love for you and unite my heart and will with yours, that I may only seek and desire what is pleasing to you. Amen. Introduction to the Liturgy of the Word Can a mother forget her infant? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. God does not forget us because He cannot forget us. For He is more present to us than we are to ourselves. And by grace, the Lord comes nearer still to all who call upon Him in truth who trusts that he really does comfort his people and show mercy to his afflicted. Having passed from death to life, they will hear his voice and will come out to eternal union with him. The Epistle I have given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 8. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor, I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you. I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out to those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways they shall find pasture, on every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them, and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, I shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Sain. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains. For the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion says, The Lord has forsaken me, my God has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb? Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 145 Responsorial The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all the compassionate toward all His works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all His words and holy in all His works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all His ways and holy in all His works. The Lord is near to all who call upon Him, to all who call upon Him in truth. The Lord is gracious and merciful.
Gospel Acclamation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. I am the light of the world, says the Lord. Whoever follows me will have the light of life. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Gospel As the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also does the Son give life to those whom He chooses. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John Chapter 5, verse 17 Jesus answered the Jews, My Father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own Father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will also do. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Amen, amen, I say to you. Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in him, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself, and he gave him power to exercise judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Meditation The Lord is gracious and merciful. Psalm 145, verse 8 Have you ever wondered whether God has forgotten you? After years in exile, the Israelites certainly did. In today's first reading, the prophet Isaiah announces all the blessings that God has in store for his people, and yet... Even in the face of these promises, the people cry out, The Lord has forsaken me. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 14 But can the God who loves us so much truly forget us? Let's find the answer as we pray with today's responsorial psalm. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Psalm 145, verse 8 Father, you created me out of love. Even when I sin, you're not angry with me, nor do you ever give up on me. Instead, 
When I feel distant like the prodigal son, you are the merciful Father, waiting with open arms to welcome me back. Luke chapter 15 verse 11 You are always ready to forgive my every sin. The Lord is good to all and compassionate. Psalm 145 verse 9 You know my trials and weaknesses. Lord, you have sympathy for me, just as you did for the Israelites in exile. Your compassion knows no bounds. Open my eyes so that I can see how your goodness and compassion permeate every aspect of my life. The Lord lifts up all who are falling. Psalm 145 verse 14 My stumbling and falling do not drive you away. No, your overwhelming mercy draws me back to you. You promise to lift me up and lead me to you. Isaiah chapter 49 verse 10 It might take days or even years, but you desire my return as much as you desired the return of the exiles to their homeland. The Lord is just in all his ways. Psalm 145 verse 17 Lord, I don't always see what you are doing or how you are doing it. Sometimes I don't understand why things turn out the way they do. But I believe that you are just and always at work, comforting, forgiving, and shining your light into the darkness. The Lord is near to all who call upon him. Psalm 145 Verse 18 Father, I know you are near to me, now and at every moment of my life. Help me to recall your goodness and mercy, especially in those times when I think you have forgotten me. Gracious God, help me to hold fast to you even in the hard times. Amen. We are God's hands, feet, and voice. May his peace rest upon you as you go and announce the gospel of the Lord in your words and deeds. Thank you for joining today. Abundant blessings upon you and yours. Amen. We close as always in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Shirley, residential realtor for many years. As a professional, I welcome and encourage you to contact me whether you are buying or selling a home. or. If you know like-minded people like yourself that you want me to help guide through this overwhelming process. Whether in the Dallas Metroplex or across the country, I'd love to assist in your real estate needs. Click the link in the description below to land on my website for a plethora of real estate information. Thank you and blessings upon you and yours.